uh, 2015 uh, Velocity Performance Free Ride and Racing Kite. Um, this is the second generation now for this kite. Um, it's an, this kite last year evolved out of the crossbow, but we took it one step further, pushed it into a dedicated racing kite. Um, but it turns out in the end that it, it was a wonderful free ride kite, a boosting machine beyond belief. And so with a lot of demand, we've, we've added sizes this year. Um, actually, to start with, we, we did refine the design completely. It's got some profile enhancements this year. Um, I've leaned things out a little bit on the outer portions of the kite, help uh, give it a little bit of a, an edge and an upwind performance. Um, we've done some construction detail, small construction detail changes, but it's still lightweight, high performance, um, lightweight construction, lightweight bladders. It is a true racing machine, but it is a free ride kite specifically designed for, for high performance riding, boosting, and time. Um, I mentioned earlier we have two more sizes this year. We added a 10 and we've added a 7. There was a lot of uh, requests for a smaller one because, uh, especially once again with foiling, <laughs> um, as far as foil racing is concerned, this is definitely the machine to be riding. We had a really good year with it. The, the first year that we had the kite out, we, we won the slalom championships. Um, we're doing really well in course racing. We've got a good team. They're very happy with everything. But it was time to take it to, take it to the next level. Uh, so we just this year we put a lot of time into the into the kite and gave it a, a, a not a total redesign from the ground up, but we definitely made some internal tweaks that you're going to feel when you hop on it. It's slipperier through the sky, squirts forward really nicely. Um, we backed up, backed off on the bottom end power just a, a little bit to gain some upwind performance, and um, we we're very very pleased with where we where we ended up here. This kite is the highest aspect ratio kite that we have in the range. It's got an extremely wide arc shape, which gives it a very high projected area and high projected aspect ratio. So the combination with, with pretty full profiles um, and a really big footprint in the sky gives you a really efficient ratio between actual kite area and your usable kite area. So in the sky, the footprint that you're seeing is much larger than, than kites with narrow arc shapes. Um, it is a bow kite. Um, it's a legally licensed bow kite. It is IK registered. It's fully legal for, for any racing event. Um, because it's a bow kite, it gives us the ability to have a very wide, flattened arc shape and the kite aerodynamically is correct in the sky. If you don't have the concave trailing edge that you that produces the tension in the back of the kite, when you try to have a kite fly really flat in the arc shape, the trailing edge tries to form a natural arc. Whereas you have a flattened out arc shape in the front and they don't match. As soon as they don't match, you have no harmony in the profiles throughout the kite. With the bow kite technology, you have the ability to flatten out the arc shape and the trailing edge will follow the shape of the, of the leading edge and you have total harmony in the profiles that you've designed into the kite from the center of the kite to the tips. This is, this is very important and this is why we maintain the bow kite on this racing kite. In the, when you're free riding with this kite, if you use the standard 1X control system, um, the shoulder lines give you a snappier turn, give you a little more, more boost. Um, if you're looking for the super ultra light wind performance or you're riding a race board or a foil board and you're going for maximum performance, for sure go with the race control system because you got to, thinner diameter lines, you've got, uh, they're a little bit longer, um, actually two different sizes. Um, for kites up to 14 meter we're using the 24 meter lines and then on the 16 and the 18 we have the uh, 27 meter and give you the real good power stroke and really good performance in light lines.